Senator, thank you. Two for you and one for Dr. Hahn. The American Hospital Association just told NBC News that they need $100 billion in order to address shortages in equipment and other infrastructure there. You just signed two legislative packages. They say it didn't directly give money to address this issue. Why not? And will you commit to making we're sure that We're looking at that issue directly with them, and uh, that's a separate issue, but we're looking at that issue very directly. Sure and we're looking at it very directly. Well, we're going to do our best on it, but... We're working with Democrats and Republicans on that. We're looking at that very specifically. Can you bottom line, people, when can Americans expect their lives to go back to normal? Will that not happen until there's yeah. a vaccine? I hope very soon. We'll see. Uh, this is uncharted territory, as you know. Uh, we think we have ideas. It doesn't help to say what the ideas are. I would hope very soon. We're, uh, we're, we pull together as a nation. People are, for the most part, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, the social distancing is very interesting, a whole new term that's become a hot, it's become somewhat of a hot term, but people are listening and they're, and they're really doing a great job. This country is an amazing country. Uh, I think you're up to 141 different countries right now. So it's very uncharted territory. It could have, could have been stopped, could have been stopped pretty easily if we had known, if everybody had known about it uh, a number of months before people started reading you about it. You said you didn't Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, before we started reading about it, we could have it could have been stopped in its tracks. Unfortunately, they didn't decide to make it public, but uh, the whole world is suffering because of it. You did say a few days ago, though, you did have a sense that this was a pandemic that was coming. So why was the United States not prepared with more testing? We were very supplies? prepared. Uh, the only thing we weren't prepared for was the uh, the media. The media has not treated it fairly. I'll tell you how prepared I was. Uh, I called for a ban from people coming in from China long before anybody thought it was, in fact, it was your network. I believe they called me a racist because I did that. Uh, it was many of the people in the room, they called me racist and other words uh, because I did that, because I went so early. So when you say we weren't prepared, had I let these tens of thousands of people come in from China a day, we would have had something right now that would have been, uh, you wouldn't have even recognized it compared to where we are. How many people have passed away? How many people have died as of this moment? You could multiply that by a factor of many, many, many. So when you say that I wasn't prepared, I was the first one to do the ban. Now other countries are following what I did. But the media doesn't acknowledge that. They, they know it's true. They know it's true, but they don't want to write about it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I wanted to just follow up on, on John and Caitlin's question. So it's not just masks. Doctors are saying now that they are desperate for other personal protective you know, gloves, uh, other equipment. Uh, governors are saying that they don't have access to respirators and they're terrified. What is your reticence about it? Governors are supposed to get it. The states are supposed to get it, but we're helping the states. Yeah. Look, for years they bought them, and now all of a sudden they're coming to the federal government. We're working with the states, we're working with the governors, we're working with everybody, the relationships are great. One of the things that happened this morning, I spoke with Mickey Harrison of Carnival Cruise Lines, and he's going to make ships available. So in addition to the big medical ships that you have coming, if we should need ships with lots of rooms, uh, they'll be docked at New York and Los Angeles and San Francisco, different places. So I want to thank Mickey Harris, and that's Carnival Cruise Lines. What is your reticence about invoking the defense production? I've done it. You said that you I've done it, yeah. If, if we find that we need something, that we will do that. And you don't know what we've done. You don't know whether or not we've ordered. You don't know if we've invoked it. You don't know what's been ordered, what's not been ordered. I can only tell you, I can only tell you that... Uh, as an example, masks. Nobody ever heard of the number of masks that's been ordered. They're being made now, and many are available now. Uh, but people, I think, in the media probably don't know that. Uh, uh, yeah. Could you explain the gap in, for the American people and what you're saying here today about there being tens of thousands of tests available, about how there being a huge amount of masks available, and what we're seeing on the ground, which is really the opposite of that. People are people are saying that they can't get tested even when they have symptoms. People are saying that they doctors are telling us they don't have access to, to vital equipment. Can you explain that that gap? Well, I can't. I, I cannot explain the gap. I'm hearing very good things on the ground, and we're dealing with what they had to ramp up. They had an obsolete system, and they had a system simultaneously that was not meant for this. It wasn't meant for this. Nobody knew there'd be a pandemic or an epidemic of this proportion. Nobody's ever seen anything like this before. 
Uh, I can tell you that what we're doing is we're working with local governments, with states, governors, even mayors, uh, on getting them to be able to get what they need. And the system is starting to work out very well. But we had a breaker system, like breaking an egg, because the system we had was obsolete and didn't work. And that was the system we inherited. And now we have something that's really been very good and certainly going to be great for the future, too. Yeah, please. Mr. President.